All right, so I've got this uh, little bracket here that I've designed myself and printed on the printer in this build orientation so that the layers give it the most strength possible. It's at 20% infill, and I'm going to do a little torture test. So let me see if I can adjust the camera here. I've got one of the brackets um, installed on a piece of wood with a nice little uh, outrigger here and so I can put some load on it and I've got a well let me start with a lighter weight got a three pound weight that I can set on it and uh, grab a tape measure and slowly move the weight out so that it applies more torque to the bracket until it eventually fails Getting there. There we go. All right. So that was uh, three pounds centered at about 18 inches, and it failed right there at the center. So I'm gonna reset the tab. Alrighty, back again a little later. Um, I've reprinted a new bracket, and this time I printed it at 80% infill. Uh, that's 80% with lines before it was 20% with grid. So got my tape measure again, my trusty weight. And we will see how much stronger, or not, this one is. And the last one was at 18 inches for three pounds. It's about four and a half foot pounds of torque. Here we are at 18. Still going. All right, looks like we were getting close, and now I'm gonna have to step up to the five pound weight. Nice and gentle. There we go. It was five pounds at 18 inches this time. Very good. All right, so this is a comparison of the two of them. Uh, this is the 20% infill here, and you can see it's pretty hollow. Here's the 60% infill. Uh, so this one did quite a bit more weight at the same distance. And the failure mechanism for both of them is at that radius, uh, although this one was starting to bend out elsewhere. So uh, make that radius thicker and you'll make them stronger. Add more infill, you'll make them stronger, but for now, I'm really happy with these two brackets. Uh, I think 60% or excuse me, 80% infill uh, prints pretty quickly and will be more than strong enough.